Diverse representation and visibility in the sciences can be crucial, especially for impressionable young people. To help close the gender gap in STEM, CBS launched a new series called Mission Unstoppable, featuring the stories of female scientists and experts to educate young girls about STEM careers. Uh, we're joined now by Dr. Latasia Jones, who is DC resident and postdoctoral research fellow at Children's National Hospital. Dr. Jones will be featured on Mission Unstoppable on Saturday, and we are so excited to have you here. I'm excited as well. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and you brought a brain with you. I did, just for prop's sake, but to let you know how real neuroscience is. <laughs> yes, it is. So tell us, um, what got you into the sciences? Uh, I heard a little rumor that you were <laughs> you're kind of chatty in science class. <laughs> Yeah, so in middle school, I was playing basketball. It was one of my favorite sports. I grew up in a sports family, and I was also chatty in my science class. And my mother kept saying, if you keep talking too much in class and don't focus on getting your grades right, I'm going to have to take you off the team. And mm -hmm. lo and behold, as a kid, I wasn't listening to my parents, and she took me off the basketball team, and I had to refocus my attention on science. So I guess I can give you know a lot of props to my mother for all the achievements I've I've made. Yeah. Once you focus, <laughs> you science. realize you loved absolutely, it. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. My grades went up, and now years later, I have a, a bachelor's, master's, and a PhD in oh science. Yes. yes. <laughs> you are amazing. And when it comes to women in the science field, um, how do you feel like we have come along in terms of more and more girls getting excited, women being involved? I think this is a, a pivotal time in which we need to create more interest for girls in STEM. I didn't have a STEM role model when I was younger, so I never thought of of being a scientist until my first internship my freshman summer year and for some people that's wow. too late to wait until college some people go to the military or whatever else they want to do before even thinking about college as an option so I'm trying to make sure I you know get that interest in the girls and let them know hey there is this opportunity you, could, you don't have to be a neuroscientist maybe you want to study bears or sharks or right. you know anything Code else or whatever work with, yes. NASA. Yeah. <laughs> work with NASA yeah there's amazing opportunities for women in STEM so yeah, they're there. They're there. I feel like, do you, have you seen a, a, a growth in the support system? Because I know there is that push, but how is Absolutely. the support? Absolutely, especially for the men. I think that's the most shocking thing when they see, uh, so I'm a part of the AAAS If Then Ambassadorship, in which Lida Hill Philanthropy started this initiative to, once again, encourage girls to have, go into STEM careers. Right. And she does this by providing those women who are already in STEM careers with a platform, multiple platforms, such as being on the news or being on Mission Unstoppable and plenty of other avenues to show the girls uh, this is what it looks like and I've seen men in the room of there's 125 of us so men in the room of 125 women in amazing STEM careers and their thoughts afterwards is mm. wow why haven't we been in this type of environment before wow. and I think that's so shocking to see there's a change in you know realization now right Oh, I love and that. Tell us about the show because this is another, as you mentioned, a part of that platform. Yes. Um, tell us about you know your experience on it and how cool it was to be able to share your platform on national TV. Well, I never imagined being in front of a camera. I am a scientist, <laughs> and a lot of the stereotypes are true. I, I work at a lab bench all day, every day, or microscope, and so on. So the experience was amazing. They made it very comfortable, the same way y'all are making this comf comfortable for me. Uh, <laughs> but I think the the biggest thing about it, and I have to remind myself, I am using this to make sure girls see me in this type of environment they see what it, what it means to be a neuroscientist not just a woman neuroscientist but a neuroscientist period and now you see that I'm a female and I'm a neuroscientist so it's achievable for you as well so I that is the big picture here it's this is achievable for any girl that's out there and she maybe never thought of STEM or maybe she's thinking about STEM and doesn't have that role model I'm here <laughs> your role model, everybody. <laughs> that's right and is there any uh, new things coming out in neuroscience that we should know about or things that you just find interesting that you see on a day-to-day -day basis that you can share everything is interesting to me <laughs> <laughs> I am one on one. How do our nerd. brains work? Yes. I know. <laughs> yes. So the, the biggest thing that I like to tell people about is I use what's called this green protein, or GFP for short. So it's a green fluorescent protein. I use it to look at DNA within the brain. Wow. And, you know, when you 
look at a brain, you only see in what you regularly would see on a, maybe a Google search. Right. But my green GFP, my GFP protein that I'm using, it allows me to see a lot more. So I can see when the where the DNA starts. I can see a neuron and where the neuron travels during wow. the development of the brain. And it's just about, about staging and looking at experiment models and using those. They have other colors too, of course, but I right. use green is my favorite color. <laughs> oh, wow. So, there you go. You use <laughs> well, we are so excited and happy for you to be on Mission Unstoppable. That is Saturday morning yes, right here on CBS. Um, but we are so honored and blessed that you, you are a role model for our girls. Thank so you. Congrats thank you. And thank you for everything. No problem. Thank you. All right. Thanks for coming on.